very scary. I mean, it was, um, you know, I, uh, something I had never seen before because, thankfully, the way it fell, it fell on an angle where it didn't immediately hit on, on the cars. It First and four, traffic came to a screeching halt part of the city today when, as you heard, part of a bridge fell into oncoming lanes of traffic. Well, the good news here is that no one was injured, but this afternoon, the major thoroughfare remains closed for five hours now and counting. WDSU anchor LaTanya Norton is on your side with how it all happened. It was a big headache for lots of drivers here in the Ninth Ward. Just before 11 o'clock this morning, damage to the Claiborne Avenue Bridge when a metal beam came crashing down. A, a metal beam that came down in, in an angled fashion, so making almost like an M shape. For Aaron Castell of Chicago, his first trip to St. Bernard Parish was a memorable one. Tuesday morning around 1045, he was traveling on the Claiborne Avenue Judge Seaver Bridge on his way to meet his girlfriend for sushi when all of a sudden he narrowly escaped injury. One of the metal stanchions um, dropped down in front. Thankfully, no one was hurt, but it came down in the front, and so cars like trucks couldn't pass only, but I was able to get underneath the actual overpass. But just barely. The Louisiana Department of Transportation and Development says an 18 wheeler struck a traffic barrier, closing both east and westbound traffic on the bridge connecting the Bywater and the Lower Ninth Ward. They just had this bridge closed for almost four months, a couple months ago. There's always something wrong with this bridge. I think they need to fully renovate this bridge, to be honest with you. Thank God nobody fell off, because I recall a couple years ago, I think a policeman fell off in the middle of the night. Back in 2008, veteran NOPD officer and father of five, Tommy Felix, was traveling on the bridge at 2 o'clock in the morning when his car plunged into the industrial canal, killing him. A safety barrier on the bridge had malfunctioned. In this latest incident, crews are assessing the damage to acquire the necessary equipment to safely remove the debris from the roadway. Meantime, drivers have to take an alternate route. I'm glad I wasn't driving under that. On your side, LaTanya Norton, WDSU News.